I am on the southern Oregon coast in one of my favorite super small little towns called Port Orford. I'm sitting at one of my favorite restaurants, which is the Paradise Cafe, with owner, chef, everything, Laura Eads. I wanted to talk about the, the reasons that people come to Port Orford or some of the more interesting points. I know um, you guys have uh, two different rivers. We have the Sixes River and the Elk River, and they are both world-class salmon fishing rivers. They have a really great steelhead run later in the year. Well, another one of my favorite things to do down here is go down uh, to the port and watch the boats being pulled up on the on the cranks and stuff. That's something really unusual to have an open port. I it is. I do know that it's the only one on the west coast. Yeah, I mean just so, to go yeah. down there and watch it and see and see the fishermen bringing in crab and mm -hmm. fresh fish and talking to the fishermen. I love Nellie's Cove. I mean there's a lot of history at the um, Coast Guard uh, Museum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they have what's called the Thousand Steps there and um, I believe I believe it's actually 500 steps down, so maybe 1,000 up, 1,000 down. And they used to have a dock down in the cove, and when they would get, when there was a muster for the Coast Guard, they would run down those steps to get on the boats to go out and rescue ships, because this used to be a deep water port. Wow. It used to be a natural deep water port, so the Coast Guard had a lot of activity off of here. Yeah, and so. this is the most westerly town in the continental United States, right, right. as far as a tip. Right. I think Cape Blanco is Cape Blanco is the furthest west. Right, yeah. right. I know we've done a lot of hiking out there, and um, uh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, yeah, they even have horse trails out there. They have uh -huh. uh, they have cabins. They have uh, the horse, horse camp, essentially, where you can bring a huge group of people, and they have a corral. You can put your horses in. You can ride the coastal trails. You can ride the beaches. Wow, mm -hmm. and I know there's a lot of galleries here. People are into art. Yep, we have um, a very, very active arts council. Prehistoric gardens is a point of interest for all ages, Always. I think. And uh, that's a, a place that has the replicas of all the old dinosaurs um, in the in the rainforest is mm -hmm. one of the reasons you go there. So um, that's always really fun. Battle Rock um, is a point of interest. There's just a lot of history and a lot of things just to do and a lot of activities go on in Port for year round. The majority of it is outdoor activities. And the hiking, there's year round hiking, there's um, there's the beaches. And a lot of people come here to surf, mm. right? Surfing. Can't forget the surfing. Yeah. That is, that's a big one. Bring your wetsuit, bring your hood and your booties because yeah. it's cold out there. Yeah. But it is it is popular. Yep, I've seen a lot of people kayaking around the rocks. I mean, there's just there's oh. actually quite a bit of things to do. Stand up paddleboard. They do a lot of, I mean, it's, they even do stand up paddleboard out, out here. Yeah. Um, diving is popular, scuba diving. I mean, we have the Port Orford Reef right off of here. I mean, it's well known enough that the um, Oregon Coast Aquarium has a replica of the Port Orford Reef as one of their um, exhibits. Wow. Well, one of my favorite things to do is to come here, and, the, and this has become a destination. This is a real hub for the local people, and people actually, tourists, travel to Port Orford to eat at the restaurant. And they do. I know. I know. It's <laughs> true. Really, it's really neat. I get, I get people, they come through every year, and I'll see them once a year, and they'll be, they'll be in transit from Canada to California, and they'll be like, oh, we planned our trip to stop for breakfast. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun to see the same people over. It's really fun, and you guys have a good menu, and some of my favorite things, and I think are popular, are your uh, Paradise Omelette. It's just like has everything in it, and it's your portions are not small, but I think my favorite is your giant pancake that you make, and you come here and you order one pancake, yes. and it's this big. <laughs> I try to make sure that all my portions are big enough for two people so that they can share. Hey, you guys are serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner now, aren't you? Yes. I'm open seven days a week from 6 o'clock in the morning, so all those early fishermen can get in here for their breakfast until 7 o'clock in the evening, um, and we've added a dinner menu. You can still get the Paradise Omelette or the hot cake at 6.45 at night really? if that's what you're feeling like eating, but we've, we've added a, a Saturday night pizza night as well as a limited dinner menu and we run specials and I've got some really good chefs in the evening so wow they can make you a, a nice dinner this is the best hub for hearing stories talking yeah. to locals I mean if you just want to come in and take a look at the bar where all the local people sit and order their their food it's you know <laughs> I'm sure is. some really interesting stories come out <laughs> yes I, I've thought about starting a, a subject of the day board where you walk through the door and it's like, okay, today we're gonna talk politics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they talk politics every day, so this one is. I think you might wanna like bring that down to something yeah. else. But today okay. we're not gonna talk politics. <laughs> so. Very good. Well, continued success, Laura, with your restaurant and being here in Port Orford, and thank you for making a nice, yummy place for people to come and, and, and uh, eat and enjoy and have a great time. Thank All right. you.